Hello and welcome to the channel. This is just a, a short video about the Spanish health form. I did one last year, last August in fact. Uh, now it's, uh, you just need another piece of paper or, uh, to, to complete it, the first stage. It's done in two stages, same as last year. That This year um, we've got to provide proof of vaccinations. If you've had both jabs, um, you'll have your certificate from uh, the NHS website. You can download that from the NHS website. If you haven't got that uh, app, you can go to the doctor, so the doctor will, will write one out for you. And that's the difference between last year's and this year's. In fact, I'm going to do it now for you, and then you can see just uh, how you fill out that form. So here we go, let's have a look. So make sure you've got your passports, your COVID pass, downloadable from the NHS website, and uh, your boarding pass as well. If you want some information about your seat numbers, your flight numbers, etc. So you've got all that together and then you're ready to go onto the SBTH website and uh, start to fill out the first part of the form. The form's filled out in two parts. The first part you fill out anytime you like, within reason, before your flights, but you can't finish or complete the form until 48 hours before you actually depart. So the first part of the form is here we are. And uh, if you look at the uh, message on the front, as you go into the form, it asks if you're going by airplane or by land or by ferry and then driving through France or whatever you might be doing. So um, we're, we're flying, so we're going to go continue here. And then you accept the um, terms and conditions. Uh, you can do it as a family, if it's a family going. But if it's like a couple, you would do it each. So you would do an individual form. So passenger data, surname goes in there, Christian name's in there, passport number, flight number goes in there, date of the arrival, your email address, and they confirm your email address. And then uh, it says check here if your final destination is not Spain. That just means that you're passing through. So you're in transit, you might be going via Madrid or Valencia to somewhere else. And so if that applies to you, tick the box. If it doesn't, just leave it blank. And please mark here if passenger data you have just filled in for a minor or dependent person in my charge. So there's that one there. And there's some legal information. And then you tick, I am human. And then uh, I have read and understand the information and accept the terms. So they'll send you an email um, with a confirmation they received your application and they'll send you a code. It'll have your email address on and uh, the number to sign in as a, a personal ID to open the same form back up again to complete the form 48 hours before you fly. And then once you've got that, you can click on the link. There's a link there which will take you to your form. And it's got an identifier number on it. And that will take me, hopefully, back to where I finished, where I was before. So then I put in my passport number and the security code there. So that then brings you back to the form. So you can see the form again. And these are my details as I filled them out on the first part. So we just check those over, make sure they're okay. And that's part one, which we've done. So we save and continue there. Everything is there. So you're just checking really what you previously filled out before. And now we're going to step three. And this is the ones we start to fill in. So we need to complete steps three, four and five to get the QR code. So first step, please indicate the country of origin of your trip. Well, that's the UK, so I'm going to put, start with the U and hopefully it'll come up and it does. So United Kingdom, and it just asks you if it's Gibraltar or United Kingdom, so it's United Kingdom for us. Please indicate the starting area of your trip. So we're coming from Yorkshire and the Humber. Please indicate all the countries you have travelled to or passed through in the last 14 days. Well, we've not really passed through any, so I'm going to leave all those blank. Uh, there's four options there, and you can add another country if you've, got, if you've been to more than four. So, reason for trip, please check off one option. Well, is tourism for us. That's all I need to do for this part. This is part three, completed, save and continue. The country of origin is United Kingdom. Once saved, you'll not be able to change it. That's correct, so I'm going to click on yes. We're now doing uh, part four, and part four, health questionnaire, mandatory for entry into Spain in relation to the health emergency declared by COVID-19, is mandatory that you answer the following questions. 
If necessary, a medical evaluation will be carried out upon arrival. Have you been in contact with a person that has been a confirmed case of COVID-19 during the last 14 days? And the answer for me is no. So now, EU COVID digital certificate, um, we haven't got one of those. We've got another certificate, and the reason for the certificate is vaccination. So we've got that, and I'm gonna fill out the details. The vaccination certificate information. So we fill in name, date of birth, and then we need to fill in the vaccination certificate information. So we had the AstraZeneca jab. So you select that from the drop down menu and it asks, when did you complete the vaccination schedule? In other words, uh, when was uh, you put in the date of your last, your last vaccination, your last jab. And then it asks you for the country of vaccination. So you put in UK and that is uh, that completes the vaccination certificate information. Okay, and then you save and continue. Now we're doing the last part, which is the affidavit, which is, um, I agree to carry out the indications and measures that the health authorities indicate. So we tick the box and end process. And that is it. And as soon as I finish the form, I'm getting um, an email directly to my inbox to say that I've completed the uh, the form. You've completed your health control form correctly. Okay. So I'm going to download that, and I'm going to download that belt and braces, and I'm going to finalise. Right, we've got everything we need there in the documents download folder. And that's all you need, that's it. That will get you through to your final destination.